Hey, hey guys, Kirsty Snyder here, ready to rock for the first time today on June 10th. It's about 6.40 my time here in Colorado. And if you're catching the replay from mytiktokplaylist.com, that means that I still want you to be intentionally present as if you were with me live right now, evening time on the 10th. Kyle, awesome to have you. Now, what I'm going to ask first and foremost for the handful of you guys on already, and even those on the replay, again, from mytiktokplaylist.com, drop me a comment. Let me know how much you want to make. If I could just write you an extra paycheck every single month, how much would you want to make? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Because the reality is the majority of us want to increase financially. We do want to supplement income. We want to do something more financially than what we're doing right now, whether that be from a job, whether that be from you know a couple jobs, if you're supplementing your income by doing something like donating plasma, working an extra shift you know, on the weekends, something like that. If I could just write you a paycheck every single month and give you an extra amount, how much would it be? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Be bold. I don't care if it's an extra 2000 that you're like, yes, that would help me out so much. Or if it's an extra 2000 a week. Okay. If you could have that extra supplementary income, how much would it be? Drop me a comment. Let me know. The majority of people will say anywhere between about, I don't know, 2500 to even eight grand a month. 2,500, two grand, something in there, up to even $8,000 a month. Okay, cool. So what about that extra income helps you out? Stephanie, to the punch, $2,000 a month. Trisha, 2,500 a week. Jay Bay, 5,000. Okay, so let's just take the 5,000 example. Could you go to your boss right now, however you're making income, to pay your bills because you're a responsible adult, right? However you're making income right now, could you go to your boss and say, hey, I need a $6,000 increase or a $5,000 increase, a 60 grand yearly amount just given because I just need the raise. Could you go to your boss right now and say, I need a raise of 60 grand a year? And they're like, yeah, 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 sounds good, right? Would the answer be yes? Probably not. Again, Stephanie to the punch. No, no way, no how. And even if your boss did look right at you and say, yep, Steph, I can give you a six, a $60,000 raise every single year. No, pr no problem. You better believe that's going to come with more work, more hours clocked, more responsibility, which in turn means more time away from family for you, more time away from the things you want to do, whether that be a vacation, whether that be, you know, spending time at night, whatever else. And that also means added stress for yourself. So if, if there was a way for you to, instead of asking your boss for a raise, adding extra stress for yourself, if you could instead make an extra 5,000 a month because you said so, and you were only pulling another one to two hours a day instead of clocking in and out, but at your home, would you want in? Would that be something that could help you out? Drop me a comment, let me know. Because the truth is, a $60,000 annual raise for yourself wouldn't you rather be in control of that yourself than relying on a boss or whoever else to say, yep, you're worth an extra $5,000 a month? I don't know about you, but I would rather write my own paycheck and say, yep, I put in that work two hours a day. What's two hours a day? 60 hours a month, right? If you're working every single day and you're being consistent. Well, here's the thing. If you're a note taker, write this down. Think about it. Think about it. If you want to write your own paycheck, you have to be consistent. In fact, you get to be consistent. If you're not consistent, how in the world would you ever expect to make consistent income? You know what I mean? The more consistent you are, the more consistent your results. But when you take it willy-nilly for a side hustle turned into full-time income, you're like, yeah, 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 it's a hobby. It'll pay you like it's a hobby. If you want to have it be full-time income, you treat it as such. Now, nowhere ever are you going to spend five hours and more a day on this. This side hustle that I do, digital marketing, passive way of income, I don't spend more than two hours a day on it unless you include something like a TikTok live because I don't consider that work. So maybe three hours a day total. And if I was able to help you spend an extra one to two, maybe three hours most a day to replace your income, to say goodbye to the boss, to get rid of debt, to eliminate the overwhelm of, am I going to make it to the next paycheck? If I could help you with that, would you want in? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Just put the word yes if you feel me right now. Because the truth is, 
The reality is the majority of us do want to make extra income. The majority of us do want to supplement our income. We want to have something extra on the side, whether that's a built up savings account, whether that's getting rid of debt, maybe it is replacing income because you hate your current job. Whatever it is, I'm here to help you with that. Okay? But the problem is, so many of you guys are going to watch a video like this, even those on my replay from mytiktokplaylist.com, and you're going to watch it through and be like, yes, I want that extra 5000 a month. Yeah, it would totally help me out to make an extra 2500 a month, a week, whatever it is. And then you sit there and sit there and you don't do anything. How come? Why aren't you doing anything? Why is it so much easier for all of you guys? Okay, even those on the replay for mytiktokplaylist.com. Why is it so much easier for you to come to a, a video like this and you feel great, you're energized, you're like, yeah, I could totally make extra money. Yeah, I have the extra one to two hours a day. I want so badly to do digital marketing and create passive income. Yeah, 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 I'm in. But you don't go do anything. How come? Why not? What are you worried about? Drop me a comment, be bold. What is it you're actually worried about? Because when you can nail down the reason that you are not doing something and you'd rather sit there and talk about what you want to do, when you're in that comfort level of, I'll tell my friend, I'll tell my dog, I'll tell my, my spouse, I'll tell my sister, hey, look, I really want to make extra income. And then your thought goes, I'll go donate plasma. And then your thought goes, I'll go pick up an extra shift and I'll you know work at night and I'll pull, pull more hours on the weekend, whatever. If that's your thought, you'll be exchanging time for money forever. Do you guys want that? If you want to exchange time for money, just drop a me real fast because I would bet you it's going to be crickets. And here's why. You know you deserve better. You know that you don't want to exchange more hours to gain more income. You know for a fact that you deserve more. Am I wrong? Let me know. What's my failure rate? First of all, that's a very negative question. I don't like it at all. The reason people fail is because they either A, don't start, or they start then quit. So start, take a bet on you, and then don't be a quitter. How could you fail if you persist? Okay? Uh, Trisha says, some people like the money but lack the work ethic and consistency. You know what? The interesting part is people, everyone and their dog, you could walk to the grocery store, you could ask your neighbor, you could ask anyone at the family party, how much more do you want to make each month? Everyone would have, yeah, I'd really like to make X amount more. They might not have the exact goal, but every single person would say, yeah, I really want to make more money. Every single person. So what's the difference between someone who goes and gets it and the person who does not? It is about the consistency, but what's the thing before that? The deservingness. You think it's too good to be true, so you don't go get it. You assume you're not capable to do it, so you just don't try. You think it's going to take too much time. Well, guess what? The time it takes to get to 5000 extra a month, that time is going to pass anyway. So even if it took you two years to get to an annual sixty grand increase, wouldn't it be worth it? I don't know. The time it takes to get there is going to pass anyway. Why would you not think to yourself, I'm going to spend the time developing the right skill set, developing the habit for success, rather than I'm just going to go watch Netflix because that's what I do on the weekend, right? If you shift your priority and you know your direction, you'll get that 60 grand increase a year. You will. Instead of asking your boss and hoping and praying that it doesn't come with more responsibility. Well, duh, it's going to come with more responsibility. You guys know that. Yet you'd rather say, I really want to make an extra five grand a month, but I just don't know what side hustle to do. So then you sit there and research overwhelm and you never actually go do anything, right? How many of you guys are on the hunt for a side hustle? How many of you guys are on the hunt for a side hustle? Just drop the word side hustle if that's you. Because yesterday I went live twice about an income accelerator. Right now I'm talking about an income accelerator to get you results ASAP. And yet so many of you are like, yeah, 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 sounds good. But what's the yeah, but for you? Yeah, 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 sounds good. I'm totally in, Kirstie. I totally want to do digital marketing. I know I can do it. I can afford it. I'm so in. I'm so excited. And instead you're like, never mind. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Does that make sense? The fear stops you. The unknown, the oh, no. Well, guess what? It's also, it, it's also if not worse, more scary, more risky to stay where you are. 
Because think about it for a second, you guys, for especially those who commented side hustle. You guys want more money. You're seeing my video right now because the algorithm literally put us together because you're on the hunt for a side hustle. Whether you have ever seen my stuff before or this is the first time. If it's your first time ever seeing me, just drop the word new, okay? If it's your second or third or fifth time seeing me, just drop the word pro, okay? So many of you guys are not taking action. How come? Why? How is that helping you? Capital and Kelly and Ladyface. Who else? Stephanie Downs and... Martina Alex, Martine Alexa, uh, Trisha, for example, six times seeing me, Katrina Owen, first time. What's stopping you from actually taking action about a side hustle? What's your concern? Like, honestly, be bold, be bold, drop it in the comments. Let me know because I'm here to eliminate that concern. Not because I care for your money, not because I need you to come and do something with me. No, I want you to go get fully informed on my YouTube channel so that you know you've got what it takes to work online, so that you know for a fact your worth and increase financially. Does that make sense? So Vanessa says the how-to. Guess what, Vanessa? I teach you for free when you enroll into your business with me. Yes, the actual business does cost $20 to $200. I'm not selling nothing and making something. And if I was, that would be alarming. Hurry, get off. That would be alarming, okay? It's $20 to $200. Everything to do once inside you get a free app for lead generation that I created myself. You get the funnels capture pages, email sequencing for you done for free on the back end. Not you purchasing additional stuff, not me sliding you two into a high ticket offer. He, he gotcha. No, literally $200 at the very top. And here's the thing. If it was a scheme like user something said, I wouldn't be selling something. If I was selling nothing and making something, that would be a scheme, my friend. Shift your mindset. Now, what's up, Peyton? How are you? If you guys are collaborators, you should congratulate Peyton, the Sherman family who just commented, because Peyton got started this week and she's already taken a massive action. Here's the thing though. When someone takes action, there's overwhelm to it, right? Because you're stepping into unfamiliar territory. Did you know your body has no, no idea the difference between you being nervous, you being anxiety driven compared to excitement because your body produces the same symptoms. What's up, Kylie? When you're anxiety driven about something, you're nervous, your heart beats fast, you get a pit in your stomach, sweaty palms, your heart races, you get nervous, whatever, right? Same exact thing happens when you're excited. Butterflies in your stomach, your heart sinks, sweaty palms, nerves, right? The butterflies, the scaredness. Your body doesn't know the difference. So it's a mindset thing. You're scared to go do a side hustle because you're not sure what it takes. Well, did you know how to drive a car before you started learning? Did you know how to ride a bike before you got on the bike and started pedaling? You could sit and research what bike to get you could pick out the cutest helmet, buy the fanciest tires. You could even put it on the calendar for when you and your significant other are going to go ride so that you can be attaining health goals or something, right? But until you go on the bike and start riding, you're not going to know how to ride. You won't know how to turn and not fall on your face every single time or to go down a hill with ease instead of anxiety, right? It's the same thing with your financial goals and a side hustle. So, so many of you guys commented earlier, yep, I'm on the hunt for a side hustle. Some of you guys are new. This is the first time you're seeing me. Others of you, some I work with, some I don't. Trisha, for example, six times seeing me. She even knows how many times she's seen me. And yet some of you guys have not taken action yet. Listen, I don't need you to get into my side hustle. I don't freaking care. Why don't I care though? Not because I don't care about you, but because I care why you don't. Not because I need the money. I'm going to win regardless. But if you don't do something about a side hustle, if you don't and you sit and research overwhelm, you will stay where you are financially. My girl Kylie, marketing for moms, she just commented a moment ago, something all the time that she says, shout out to Kylie, okay? Something all the time she says is, nothing changes if nothing changes. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you want to increase financially, you have to do something different financially. You know what I'm saying? 
So the how-to steps, like Vanessa commented earlier, when you enroll and you open up a business with me with digital marketing, yes, 20 to $200. Yeah, I'm not selling air. You can't just opt in and make something. That would be weird. That would not be a real business with real products and real people making real money. Just saying. 20 to $200, you then get everything that you need for free after that. So you're not purchasing a course. You're not purchasing an ebook. I'm not going to slide you into like this secret silly offer that's like actually $3,000 or something. No, you literally spend at the most $200. And here you sit being like, I can't. You're right. Oh, but I don't know how. You're right. You'll never figure out how unless you go do the thing. Again, like researching how to ride a bike. You can purchase the cutest helmet. You can get the nicest tires. You could even look up on Google the best bicyclist of 2023. You can sit and research it or you can do it so that you know what to do. Does that make sense? Digital marketing, passive wave income. I'm partner with a company called SHG, just the same as uh, Peyton, the Sherman family on here, okay? And it's a passive wave income because what you're selling in a digital product is needed every single month. So Peyton, for example, and Kylie and a few others who are on here, who I work with, they took action. They invested 20 to $200 in themselves. They then have a lead generation app that I custom made for them that they get instantly. And then all the funnels, capture pages, and email sequencing are done on the back end for them for free. Why? Why? Because if you don't know how to market, no one's going to hit your funnel. Why would I have you pay for something you don't yet need? And then you get my free training so that you know how to effectively market. Hello. You can. You can do this. But if you continue affirming things that like I, if I could afford it, it would be simple. You can afford anything that you set your mind to. If your fridge went out right now and you needed to have your eggs and your milk cold, if you're, you know, something on your car went out and busted, you'd figure out a way to still get to work, right? Even if that was replacing whatever busted on your car, if that was asking a friend for a ride, if that was, you know, calling your boss and letting them know you'd be late, you'd go get resourceful because you need your car to work. Well, what if the same concept applies for your finances? You're on the hunt for a side hustle for a purpose. And yet here you sit affirming and affirming, I can't afford it. You're right. So I invite you to shift your mindset rather than saying, I can't afford it, period. Like with a period at the end of that sentence, why not ask a question? How can I afford it? Because when you ask yourself a question, you go into innovation and creation for a solution. But if you put a period, the end, that's it, too bad. Then yeah, you're going to continue saying those things. I still can't afford it. I can't afford this. I can't afford that. It's too much money. Maybe at a later time. Bleh. And then a month, a year from now, you're still saying, I just can't afford that. Not even a side hustle with anything. A new shirt, a pair of pants, you know, getting whatever groceries, being able to afford your bills, whatever else, right? Now, Peyton says something really good. I love it. Not everyone has to sign up to quit their nine to five. Some people like their job. For Peyton, doesn't like her job. So she's looking to do something that can create full-time income from home, whether that be $2,500 a week, that'd be five grand a month, whatever it is, in it to win it, totally different based on entrepreneurial spirit, spirit, rather than, hey, an extra $500 you know, a month, $500 a week, that could help me out, right? Even $500 a month, that's a $6,000 increase. Could you ask your boss and get approval for that now? Probably not, Right? The increase that you get is probably something similar to like a 25 cent or maybe a 50 cent. Or if you're like really lucky, you get like a dollar raise. Well, guess what? Even a dollar raise when you're clocking in and out for 160 hours a month on average, right? 40 hours a week. That's only another $160 that you're making. So you can sit and hope to get a raise or you can take matters in your own hands and say, I'm going to give myself a raise by doing a side hustle that will pay me better than what my job thinks I'm worth. Does that make sense? Let's see. Kayla says, or Keila, let me know. I spend money on stupid stuff. I'd rather spend on something that's going to benefit me. A freaking men. Amen. Beautifully said. 
<laughs> but the mentality is, oh, it makes more sense for me to spend money on, you know, Chick-fil-A five times a month because I got hungry. Well, if you spent Chick-fil-A five times a month, right there is a middle membership for digital marketing for me. That's a hundred bucks. It's about priority. It's not that you don't have the money. It's about where are you spending your money that could actually give you an ROI, right? Kayla, okay, cool. So I'll remember that for next time. Um, Faith Elliott, awesome name. You can hop over to my YouTube channel and get fully informed. My YouTube channel is just my first last name, Kirsty Snyder. How you spell that is in my TikTok bio. It's the same for TikTok here. My handle is the same for Instagram, Facebook, all the stuff. Let's see. So if I'm starting a business unrelated and I'm a single mom, is it doable? 100%. And Peyton's here to probably confirm that as well. <laughs> because it's meant to work for your schedule. If you've got 10 kids or you've got no kids, if you've got six jobs or you're single, you're married, you're 75 or you're 15. Okay, not 15 because obviously I won't, you know, you have to be 18 and older. But I work with everyone under the sun. I work with a gal right now. We'll just call her Sally Joe. <laughs> Sally Joe has seven kids under age 12. Seven kids under age 12. She's a dental hygienist assistant. And right now she's making around 3,300 a month and she started, when did she start? That's actually a good question. Sally Joe, we'll call her. She started, uh, just looking at my thing here. She started on, where is it? On May 14th, she already made 3,300. Now, Why? Why would Sally Joe be able to do that when she has a bunch of kids? She already has a job. Why would she be able to do that? Because of consistency. Because of plugging into what actually works. So take Sally Joe as evidence that you can do the same. If she started almost a month ago now, May 14th, and it's the 10th, if she started and did something, you can too. She doesn't have a following. She even arguably still now doesn't have a following. She had no previous experience with social media. She had never done a side hustle before. She had done a couple different things in the past, totally unrelated, something like Etsy sales, I think it was, and she never succeeded. So instead of saying, oh, I've tried and failed in the past, this isn't going to work. Oh, I don't have a social media following. This isn't going to work. She said, you know what? I'm going to make it work. She got innovative about how she could make it work. She plugged in my free training and now she is able to do something about replacing that income, spending more time with her kids if she wanted to. Does that make sense? Just drop the word resonate if you feel, with, if you feel me right now, okay? Just drop the word resonate. Um, yeah, this is not legendary. No way, no how. I <laughs> just barely saw that comment. Let's see. Just looking at these comments here. Renee, thank you so much for the feedback. You're starting next week, aren't you? If I remember correctly. Wasn't it next week? Why don't you sell your own course and not be an affiliate for a company? Because I don't believe in selling courses. Um, Liz, to be blunt with you, I think it's lame when people... Okay, I think it's fine if you sell a course. That's great. For me, it doesn't make sense when I could give what you need for free on my YouTube channel. I don't want to sell a course. Um, I don't believe in high ticket offers, one and done sales. I think it's silly. That's just not what I resonate with. Let's see... So Peyton, the Sherman family started, what, yesterday or two days ago? Peyton, you'll have to tell me. I don't remember. <laughs> um, typically one to two hours a day. Now, a new person, brand new language, might spend three hours a day collectively, but it's because it's a new language. It's not because you work longer hours and you get paid more. No, it's more about the consistency than it is about the amount of time. Does that make sense? Just drop me the word makes sense if you feel me. I don't want to show myself at this time. Is there any way to do it without being on video? Let me ask you a question, jmer one If you couldn't see me and I was trying to talk to you about a side hustle, would you be commenting? Probably not. So I invite you to think larger than yourself. People need you. They want to see you on video, not a robot behind the screen. People want connection, you know? Let's see. The real Jane Doe. What's up, girl? Again. Um, where do you market your product and do you personally pay for advertising? I do not pay a penny for advertising. Nope. Everything that I teach and everything that I personally do does not cost even a penny. The four majors. That's what I focus on. That's what I teach you for free once inside YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. The four majors. When every time you open up YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram, if you could make money, 
You wouldn't need to spend money on advertising because you'd be growing organically, generating your own leads for free, controlling how much you make because you're not spending a dime. Does that make sense? Let's see. Just scrolling up on these comments here. Moments with Morgan. What's up, Morgan? Just barely seeing your comment. How do we get in contact with you to start? So you can go to my YouTube channel, just my first last name, Kirstie Snyder. How you spell that is in my TikTok bio. You can go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. You can text me directly. Yes, that is my number on YouTube. Um, just let me know you came from TikTok Live. And then if you have further questions, you can text me or you can find me on Facebook. You can search Kirstie Snyder, Peyton, Colorado, P-E-Y-T-O-N, Peyton, Colorado. I'm the only Kirstie Snyder in that location on Facebook. Make sure you spell it right. Um, just let me know you came from TikTok Live and I'll be able to help you out. <laughs> Kayla resonates, Real Jane Doe resonates, Peyton resonates, Kylie, what's up, girl? Lysandra, what's up, my friend? Let's see. Yes, on Tuesday. Okay, cool. Renee, do I have you on my calendar? I don't remember. If I haven't put you on my calendar yet, send me a message on Facebook and I'll put you on my calendar. Teresa resonates. Awesome. Um, this is for making videos online. So yes, Holly, it's through digital marketing. And yes, I would encourage making videos online so that you can market effectively in your product that you sell. If you choose to partner with me, it's digital marketing. Let's see. Jamer says, I have no marketing skills and work a full-time job. Time is limited. I resonate with what you got to make. Yep. It's not the amount of time that you have or don't have. It's about direction. If you know the direction you want to go, you find the time to do what it is you want to attain. That was a freaking truth. Oh my gosh, that was really good. Hope you guys heard that. It's not about the amount of time. It's about priority. And if you know a direction of what you want to be doing, especially when it comes to finances, you'll find the time. You will. Because everyone has the same amount of time per day. So how do you explain someone like that Sally Joe example who started in May almost coming on one month and she's made 3,300 bucks. How do you explain Sally Joe, who works as a dental assistant, who's got seven kids, how do you explain her when she's as busy as all you guys probably, if not worse on some days, right? And she's had success with no prior experience. She's tried things in the past and felt like they were a failure. She doesn't have a social media following. And yet she went for it. She applied the concepts. She's in what she wants to be doing, even though it's uncomfortable because she hasn't experienced something like this before. So it's a matter of, just as I said previously, are you going to give into the anxiety? Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, duh, you don't know what you're doing. You're not in it. You can't understand what to do for a side hustle, for riding a bike, for quitting a job, for getting married, for whatever, until you do it, right? It's the same thing with a side hustle. You're stepping into unfamiliar territory. It's the same thing with accepting a new job. You interview at the job. You then start on Monday at nine, right? The first day you're like, what am I doing? You're like a deer in headlights, right? And then a week later, you get used to it. A week later, you get used to it. A week later, you know the commute. You don't even have to think about it as you're driving to work because you've done it for two weeks. It becomes natural. Well, it's the same thing with a side hustle. You do it enough, it becomes natural. You do it enough, it becomes habitual, habits, natural, things you don't think about. Wouldn't it be awesome, awesome for you to replace your income within the next year because you choose to develop the skill set and the habits today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day, prioritizing your life for where you want to be financially and you say goodbye to your boss a year from now, if I called you up on June 10th, 2024, and I said, hey, Teresa, you never have to go to a J-O-B again. You never have to punch the clock for someone else again. You're making everything that you want a year later because you decided to go for something bigger than yourself that pushed you out of your comfort zone on purpose. Would that not be worth it? Do you guys want to see that phone call? You want to hear that kind of phone call? I don't know. Because three years ago for me, I was in over $120,000 of unsecured debt. I was in a small apartment and I was on the hunt for a side hustle. I started something for less than 10 bucks. I then was upsold and told I would fail online unless I upgraded to their stuff. I didn't have that amount to my name, let alone to put to that upsell. And so I didn't. 
Everything that you get now is literally my blood, sweat, and tears for me not having the money to have high ticket offers and course material and training from Guru Billy Bob. I didn't have the money for it. So everything that you get now for free, the funnel building, capture pages, emails, the app for lead generation, all of that is literally me putting in my own heart and energy, not having the help so that you have too much help so that you have no choice but to win <laughs> instead of being upsold for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Drop me a comment if you resonate. Because if I can go from $120,000 of unsecured debt to now this house that we built and moved in mid-February this year, to not owing anyone anything, but everything I make, I can spend, invest, and, and put to whatever I want, however I want. Don't you want the same? Now, I'm not saying that to boast. I'm saying that to give you an example of evidence that you can do the same instead of being so addicted to making noise. I want to make more money. Yeah, you and everyone else. But do you have a direction? Do you have a reason as to why you want to make more money? Because earlier when I said, hey, how much do you want to make? Comments came in from 2000 to 10 grand a month. Okay, so what would an extra two grand a month do for you? Just drop me a comment, be bold. Even if you just made an extra 2000 a month, that's like 160 hours clocking in and out at 12 bucks an hour. If you didn't have to clock in and out for 160 hours and you could do it one to two hours a day around your schedule, let's say even three hours a day, would that not be worth it to make an extra two grand a month, not reporting for someone else, working on something that you find fulfillment in? Would that not be worth it? Okay, so Dallas says, pay off credit card debt, beautiful. My $120,000 of unsecured debt three years ago was unsecure. That means I was right there with you. Credit card debt, dumb choices financially, right? I was also in a lot of medical bills because maybe like Katrina, my son was having a lot of bad experiences with ep epilepsy, with seizures. He's since grown out of it. It's been a blessing, but we were life flighted. Hello, helicopter, medical bills. Like it was ridiculous. And I got out of all of that. So it wasn't suffocating me. And now I'm able to give back for free to people like yourself when you choose to open up a business for literally $20 to $200. I know what it's like to rely on community for groceries, for food, for not being able to afford something like a Netflix account. Okay. I know what that's like. That was me in 2020. It was. It's actually really hard to talk about because now where I am, I'm like, wow, that, I don't know how I survived that. I don't know. But at the time, I knew I needed something different. And I knew that I didn't have the funds for huge upsells. And so everything that you now get for free when you decide to partner with me is literally no upsells. It's literally my blood, sweat, and tears. Me in the trenches with you because I've been in similar positions as to maybe where you are now. Or maybe not. Maybe you're totally good financially and you're just looking for something additional because you like the multiple streams of income, because you want passive income, because you want to dip your toes into something that pushes you out of comfort. Well, guess what? The beautiful thing about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, not the cliche like, oh, life happens after your comfort zone. True. But do you know why that matters? Because when you choose something different each day that pushes you into growth, that something unfamiliar, your income grows. You could walk into your job right now and quit. You'd be replaced tomorrow. No matter how long you've been at that job, no matter if you've climbed the corporate ladder and you're like this big old supervisor and they need you so much, you'd be replaced tomorrow, right? In the marketplace, something in your control, your leads are in your control, your commission structure is in your control, how consistent you choose to be is your choice, that's in your control, right? How valuable you become in the marketplace like this whether that be on TikTok, that be on YouTube, social media, anything. When you're controlling your income because it is commission only, you're valuable. And when you're valuable, you cannot be replaced. Does that make sense? Just drop me the word makes sense if you feel me. Because there's one thing called replaceable employee, a number you're seeing as a dollar bill. And there's another thing called valuable valuable. Do you want to be valuable or do you want to be replaceable? You know what I mean? 
Trisha, this is digital marketing, similar to affiliate marketing, because I do the capture pages, funnels, and email sequencing for you on the back end for free. Um, but digital marketing, different, at least for me, is that it's passive because what you're selling is needed every single month rather than typical affiliate marketing, high ticket, one and done sales. Make sense? Let me know if that helps, Trisha. Let's see. On top of that, Trisha, if you're still here, just drop me a yes real fast. If you guys go to the website, 5minuteorless.com, 5, F-I-V-E, minute, like minute, 5 minute or less. Dot com. I have a video that's five minutes or less, get the domain name, <laughs> that talks about the difference, my experience with digital marketing compared to affiliate marketing. That would be helpful for you guys if you want to go to five minute or less and watch that video. Um, let's see. Faithful Fortune Mama. Gosh, dang it. You've been here before and I already forgot your name. Tell me what your name is. Hurry. It's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> I was the director of HR and accounting. I got a 10,000 pay cut, but expected to do the same amount of work. Holy freaking crap. That pisses me off for you. Was that recent that that happened? Thank you for commenting that. Thank you for being, being bold in that way. Yeah, Trisha, you got it. Gabby, gosh, freaking Gabby. I knew that. How am I going to remember that? Faithful fortune mama is Gabby. Gabby, 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 Gabby. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try so hard to remember that. But the next time you come on, <laughs> if I don't, you better give me a lot of crap. Okay? Not just the laughing emoji. Like, you got to give me a lot of crap. Okay? Gabby is faithful fortune mama. Okay. <laughs> got to remember that. Okay. Let's see. Came back from maternity leave and they didn't think I'd quit because I had a baby. Oh, my God. I have nothing to say. That makes me so mad, Gabby. Oh my gosh, I could open up that whole can of worms for everything that you just said. Wow. Ugh, thank you for being bold. Wow, that just like pisses me off for you, girl. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like it at all. Diana Pace, this is actually my situation right now, HR director and getting restructured. You guys, for real, okay, just as I said a moment ago, whether it's a drop in what you're making, whether it's added responsibility and no increase or a combo of both, you are replaceable and it ticks me off because I don't want you to be replaceable. Gabby, I don't know you worth a dang. I don't, aside from this, aside from I love your profile picture, right? And that you obviously recently had a baby. Congrats, that's awesome. And Diana Pace, I don't know you worth a dang either. You've been here before, though. What are you waiting for? I'm just saying. But it makes me mad that you guys aren't getting valued in the way that you should be. It really does. And that maybe that sounds cheesy. But in my head, I'm like, I don't want you guys to be in a situation where you're like, please, can I have a raise? What in the hell? I, ugh, that makes me mad. You deserve to be way better treated and because you're a freaking baller, because you know what you're doing, because you add value to your job, you should have income that matches that and yet you don't. Oh, that makes me so mad. Call you out. <laughs> Diana, message me on Facebook. I don't know what you're waiting for, but let's squash that. Let's squash that hesitation, okay? Find me on Facebook again. I know we've talked before. Let's see. Katrina says, I subscribe to your YouTube. Can't wait to watch them. This and this will work for our family. Katrina Owen, love the tenacity you hold, my friend. Find me on Facebook after you watch a couple of the videos there on YouTube. If you resonate, you like what you hear, you want to do digital marketing, awesome. Let's connect on it, okay? My YouTube channel is the same as Instagram, the same here. It's the same on Facebook. It's Kirsty Snyder. Just make sure you spell it right. Kirsty like an ear sound, not Christy. And I'm the only one. Kirsty Snyder in Peyton, Colorado. So if you search on Facebook, Kirsty Snyder, Peyton, Colorado, P-E-Y-T-O-N, Colorado, then you'll find me really quickly. Okay. Um, let's see. Barefoot says, I am working in marketing for a company, but want to go on my own and not bring in money for them. 
Amen. You should. Do you have something that you want to do barefoot? Let me know. And let me know your real name so I can address you accordingly. I don't see anything in your bio. Um, yeah, teachers. Exactly. Abby. Amen. Teachers aren't paid enough, and yet they put everything into teaching kids. Oh, my gosh. And they're not paid enough. My aunt, for example, she's been a uh, junior high teacher for seriously like 35 years. She loves it. And I think she right now, even though she's been there for three decades, she still makes like 45000 Okay, well, when you strip that down to hourly, which actually is not even accurate because you go home and you grade papers and you do all the extra things, even a preschool teacher or kindergarten teacher, they go home and they're so passionate that they pour into these kids and they do more activities and they do all the things, right? When you strip it down to hourly, if they were just to work eight hours a day, not because they have summers off, but because they actually are still working. They have to go get another job during the summer because they're not paid enough. Well, 45000 freak, that's only $22.50 an hour if they're not working more, which you know they are. How many of you guys are teachers? Probably some of you. You work more because you love what you do. And my aunt, for example, she loves what she does. That's why she's done it for so long but she's not valued in the marketplace. It's stupid. It's so stupid. So then she ends up finding a side hustle, much like you guys, because you deserve more money and you're not sure how to do it. So you sit and paralyze and you sit there and you're familiar with being a teacher. You're familiar with doing whatever and you're pushed out of your comfort zone. will freak. Did you know how to do the right teaching and material and manage X amount of students the first time you did it? Or did it develop over time and you got used to it and now you're realizing you're made for more? Not because you can't go be a teacher. Not because you can't love your industry that you chose. But if the industry you chose is not valuing you, meaning everything you bring to the table is not rewarded financially, then you're finding and you're searching for a side hustle. And guess what? I'm here to help with that. Okay. Now here's the thing. I don't care if you partner with me. I really don't. I'm going to help you regardless because free social media training.com has everything that you need. If you already have a business and you want to see it scale, you want to see it explode with whatever you're doing. Okay. I don't care if you're selling Amazon rugs, if you're selling a course, if you're selling tiny lotion, whatever. If you're doing Etsy sales, if you're doing KDP and you're like Amazon FBA, whatever. If you want to see your sales scale and go up in trajectory instead of roller coaster, you can go to free social media training.com and know exactly what to do so that you can control your income. If you decide to partner with me, everything on free social media training.com is extensive three times a week for free that I'll teach you. Okay. Meaning digital marketing, passive wave income, like Sally Joe, our example, she started May 14th. She's made $3,300. She's got seven kids and she's a current dental assistant. So she's working. If she can, you can. Do you believe that? Just put a yes if you believe that. Okay. Let's see. Dallas says, or Lissandra. Oh, I missed a few comments. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, Diana, we've talked on Facebook before. So find me maybe during this live and just message me again. Let's chat. Trisha says, one more thing before I switch over to your videos. Can you only be successful if you post on social media? Yes and no. There are people who do old school strategy like bugging family and friends. I don't agree with that. I think that it's capped. Um, even if you did something like hand out business cards and it's still people that you don't know, at least that's cold marketing. The reach is farther than that. But I would do social media. For example, Trisha, would you be commenting asking this right now if it wasn't on social media? Probably not. If I was just sending you a spammy email and saying, hey, you should get into my stuff. You're like, who the heck? Is, what? What? You probably wouldn't do it. Maybe you would. Maybe. Because email marketing does work when done right. But if you hadn't seen me, you wouldn't be asking this, right? You wouldn't be thinking to yourself, okay, I've got what it takes. Maybe I should do something with Kirsty, right? You probably wouldn't be thinking that. People want connection. And social media is like the perfect way to do that. And it's all about the marketing strategy of which I teach you for free three times a week. So just like our Sally Joe example, 
no social media following, arguably still doesn't have a social media following, even though she's been in it for a month. Um, depending who you ask, right? It's perception. Making $3,300 with no prior experience aside from what she tried and failed at. And when you know how to do effective marketing, you'll get sales. It's when people don't know how to do effective marketing that their income goes up, it goes down, it fizzles. Think of it like a soda can, right? Shake, shake, shake. It fizzles, it gets all big, it's like explosive, and then it eventually fizzles down, and then it goes flat. I don't want that to be your income, which is why I teach you for free how to effectively do digital marketing, how to effectively do social media, so that you could see an upward trajectory for your sales, for your commission, for what you want to make, instead of it exploding at one point, or maybe not ever, and then it fizzles, and the bubbles go down, and then it goes flat. It's not even tasty anymore at that point, right? <laughs> um, let's see. Just scrolling up. Yep, Lissandra, CNA is very underpaid. Did that for three years before I took care of my mom. Loved it, but no money. Exactly. You're in that type of industry, medical field, especially teachers, etc. You're not paid what you're worth. And so you end up looking for a side hustle and paralyzing because it pushes you out of your comfort zone. That's good though. That's good, Okay. I couldn't find a nine to five for months. That's how I discovered the marketing world. Exactly, Dallas. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Jennifer, what's up? What's up? Also don't know a single corporate job that includes reducing your monthly expenses. Amen, Jennifer. Preach. <laughs> Love that you're here. Awesome. What's up, Jeannie? What's up, Abby? Again, I know I already said hi, but hi again. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, canceled all the things that the $7 training told me I needed to be successful. That's how serious I am and how much I trust you. So here's the thing. Okay. Let me, let me just say a couple things about that. <sighs> this is me getting sassy and not just about Abby's comment. This is just, you know, where my mind is going right now. Unfiltered. You don't need funnels capture pages, email sequencing, meaning paying for funnels, needing to have the techie side of you come out to know what to do for a capture page and a video and bleh. And you don't need something like an autoresponder, a Weber, builder all, whatever, if you suck at marketing. And here's why. No one's going to hit your freaking funnel. And if they don't hit your funnel, there will be no one to email if you suck at marketing. So a big reason why I take care of the capture pages, funnels, and email sequencing for you on the back end for free forever if you want. Sure, you could integrate AWeber or something else later on if you want to, but you don't have to. It's your custom link, your custom funnel. It converts like hotcakes if you're effectively marketing. But to be told that you need to have $100 or $300 spent on something like ClickFunnels when you suck at marketing because you're new... You're just spending 100 bucks or 300 bucks a month for something that you don't have to pay for if your marketing is not on point yet. Does that make sense? I get sassy about that because I think it's silly when people say you need this, 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 all these subscriptions when really they should be teaching you how to effectively market and then add in something like a funnel builder after you have proof in the pudding that you'll get leads. Does that make sense? Draw me the word makes sense if you feel me. Uh, just scrolling up here, making sure I didn't miss any of the comments. Roll, who to what? Rolly Pulley, is this net, isn't this network marketing? Yes, it is. Let's see. Uh, Dallas says to Abigail, financial freedom. Yeah, they told me to sell my car. Wasn't going to do that. They told you to. Dallas, are you still here? Just drop me a yes real fast. What? <laughs> they told you to sell your car? Why? <clears throat> I can't. Mm -mm. I have nothing to say to that. No. Okay. Okay. I'll say one thing. <sighs> oh my gosh. I can't. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'll say one thing. Okay. Can of worms for like two seconds. Okay. 
when people look at you like a dollar bill, they go to desperate measures and they come across very salesman-like. That's the first thing. Second, if you know how to effectively market, meaning a sales call, meaning a, you know, a short form video, a live video, whatever else, people come to you and they're ready with card in hand, not you telling them to go do something to pay for it. Mic drop. Do you feel me? Because when a person knows how to effectively sell whatever it is, whether it be on a phone call, old traditional or not, whether it be social media, live video like this or not, whether it be business cards, whether it be, you know, in a direct message, whatever else, whether it be on a YouTube channel, when a person knows how to effectively sell because they have a formula, the person they're wanting to have a sell from will find a way. And if a person is telling you what to do to pay for something, whether it's $200, whether it's $2,500, whether it's 20 grand, the person who is serious on the other end of the line, social media, in person, whatever, they'll find a way because you are doing effective marketing. But if a person is telling you to go sell your car, that person sucks at marketing and they need help with selling. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm going to say. The end. Oh my gosh, why? Okay, let's see. What's up, Robert from Kansas? Love it. Love it. Mel Armstrong, you can go to my YouTube channel and get fully informed. My YouTube channel is just my first last name, Kiersey Snyder. How you spell that is in my TikTok bio. Yes, I've gotten better, but this is so much better. Amen. Amen, Abby. Love it. I run heavy equipment in the world's second largest open pit in the world. I'm over it. Yep. Uh, Danea, is that how you say it? Danea, if you're still here, drop me a yes. And if I totally slaughtered your name, please let me know. <laughs> Jennifer, girl, swear. <laughs> I tried to send into your program, but I did know how. What? Gorgeous Beauty, let me know what you're talking about. Also, let me know your real name so you can find me on Facebook or something else and let me know that you're Gorgeous Beauty from TikTok. Let me know what you mean, because I don't know if I understood your statement or your question there. Um, Renee says, they told me to split it on my credit cards. Um, nope, I was out. Okay, so let's jack up your credit. Let's make your credit score suck so that I can make a dollar from you. <laughs> really? Blah. Blah. The Real Jane Doe says, course sellers are often affiliates for the funnel companies, etc. So they get you on both ends. Exactly. Which is fine. Wait, that, that's just totally fine. There's nothing wrong with having another thing to help the person succeed. The problem is, is they're missing, not they, not who we're talking about here, anyone. A person is missing the boat if they're upselling you, regardless of if it's $2 or it's two grand. Okay. They're missing the boat if they're upselling you for something you don't, ne don't yet need because what you need when you start a side hustle, any side hustle, is effective marketing strategies. That's what you need. You don't need a funnel builder. You don't need AWeber. You don't need Builderall. You don't need, you know, capture page this and that. You don't need to go hire a guru if you suck at marketing, <laughs> You need to have the right strategies in place so that people know how to hit your funnel. So people that you can actually use a capture page for. No one hits your capture page. No one sees your video sales letter inside that funnel. You're never going to have an email. You, you wouldn't need to email someone unless you know how to effectively market. You're not going to be using an autoresponder unless someone knows how to hit your funnel. They're not going to hit your funnel unless your marketing is on point. Hello. So sure. Could I sit and upsell you on, you know, all the things? Maybe. Yeah. Yep. I totally could. Or I could remember the Kirsty three years ago and how stressed it was and how discouraging it was to be told I would fail online unless I upgraded. Yeah. No, I'm not going to freaking upsell you. I think it's dumb when people do that. And I don't agree with it. You can literally learn everything you need to know, regardless of your business. Etsy, Amazon FBA, KDP, Side hustle, you know, say you are selling a course, say you're doing, what's that new one? Uh, master reseller, right? Say you're doing something freaking weird, like, what's the other one? Cl uh, blah, blah, click, clickly, clicky, click something weird, by the way. Not sure how I feel about that one. Um, whatever you're doing, if you don't know how to effectively market, 
go right now to freesocialmediatraining.com. Freesocialmediatraining.com, it'll literally take your sales where you want them to go so that it's maintainable income rather than a roller coaster income fizzling where it goes flat and you're like, yeah, cool, right? You need to know how to effectively market. You need to know you get to develop the skill set for actually doing something that when you get a sale, they came to you. When you get a sale, the first message is, send me your link, I want in. Rather than being like, oh, you should go sell your car so that I can make money from you. Like, what in the freak? No, bye, Felicia. What in the, no. <sighs> Barf. <laughs> Let's see. Kayla says, I'm ready for the next steps. What do I do? Kayla, my friend, if you haven't gone to my YouTube channel yet, that's where you're going to want to go to get fully informed. I give way too much info up front because I want you to go into it with confidence, not being blind. Go to my YouTube channel. Um, any of the videos at the very top of my, the main page will be the most informative for what I do and how you can get involved. Same with you, gorgeous beauty. Ready for the next step? How do I sign up into your program? Go to my YouTube channel. How you sign up is inside of that video. Um, but make sure you watch all the way through because I want you guys to be sure that you resonate. Digital marketing is a fit for you. You want to partner up? Awesome. Make sense? Is that fair? Let me know. Let's see, just looking at these comments here. Yep, do you just don't like those tactics? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's see. Then the same woman made talks advertising others to cash out their 401ks to buy their courses. What? Okay. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, I don't even know what to say to that. That's not okay. That doesn't make sense. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. This, uh, nope. That does not make sense to me. And that's all I'm going to say about that. That very much. Huh? Yeah. Okay. You know, can we just side tangent for a second? You know, your 401k has a lot of different restrictions to it. You have a lot of penalties for it. If you cash out a certain something or you quit the job, you get fired, whatever. It's like, see ya. doesn't even work. Something inside of my company that we do is an IUL. Have you guys ever heard of that? I-U-L. I like indigo. You like umbrella. L like love. Um, where I'm investing right now, it's an investment. Okay. It's not stocks, nothing like that. This is a total tangent, but 401k reminded me of it. Where if right now, we just started it about a month ago, my company does IUL, which is the investment side of it. Okay, it's nothing to do with digital marketing. It's just another benefit that you get. Where right now, I'm spending $500 a month for myself. And when I retire at age 59, I've got $75,000 to use tax-free income every single year. Um, sets B Sarah proved my point. I'm not sure what you said earlier. So you're going to have to let me know what you said. Cause I don't know what you said. Anyway, better than a 401k. And if someone's telling you to go use the 401k, you know, from your normal nine to five to pay for their course, please don't go get fully informed and learn for free 30 different tutorials on my YouTube channel at free social media training.com for how to effectively market. Don't go pay for a course. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ew. That like, that just makes me upset. Um, she did. I commented and she blocked me. Peyton, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see all the comments, you guys. They really scroll up and it drives me nuts. Day trader, very familiar with various products. I like the IUL idea for sure. 100%. I used to, I actually used to own a day trading franchise and I did really well. But the upsell, because it was day trading, it was a day trading program. We funded the account, whatever. They've been around since like 2006. Um, but I used to own the franchise for it for a couple years. And it was like get in for $10. And then to get into the actual day trading program was anywhere between six to 25 grand, which is great. It actually worked. I actually really love day trading. I just didn't like taking clients, so I sold my franchise. Anyway, um, she blocked my other account for asking that question and making a statement. I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. 
<laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Um, and they advise that. Yeah, that's so funny. Diana Pace, if you're still here, mentorship. I don't know when you asked that. Let me know what you mean by mentorship question mark. Let me know what you mean by that. Be told that you'd be better parent spending the 2500 You What in the Kristen, are you freaking kidding me? You were told that you'd be a better parent if you spend $2,500 on a course? Holy. I, I have nothing to say. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't have a dang clue what to say to that. That is, that's a piece of work. What the heck? Wow. Okay. So. I'm not sure what sets by Sarah and all you guys are talking about, but hopefully you guys are okay. There's no drama coming up because I don't know what's happening in here. Anyway, if you already have a business and you need to scale that business and you want to see an upward trajectory for your commissions, for how you get paid, for whatever product you're selling. I don't, again, I don't care if it's Etsy. I don't care if it's Amazon. I don't care if it's KDP. Let's say you're selling a course. Let's say you're doing digital marketing. You're selling rugs on Amazon, whatever it is. If you want to see there be increased sales where you're getting paid more and it's maintained income, not fizzling income. You already have a business. You can go right now to free social media training.com and walk through 30 different tutorials for how to master the four majors. What are the four majors? You guys four major platforms. I'll give you a hint. You're on one of them right now. What are the other three? When you can master these four majors, you're going to have sales for days doesn't matter what you're selling. You're going to have leads for days. Your income's going to explode and it's going to be freaking awesome. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Boom, Kristen, love it. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. If every single time you opened up those platforms, you made money, you'd feel different, wouldn't you? So go get fully informed at freesocialmediatraining.com so that you can see your sales with whatever business you're doing right now explode. Okay. Now, if you don't already have a business and you like anything that you've heard tonight, go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. You can just search my first last name, Kirstie Snyder, find me on my YouTube channel, watch the videos at the very top of the main page and see if digital marketing is a fit for you. Heck no, this is not the $7 course. <laughs> Thank heavens. Because all this that we just talked about tonight, it better not be the $7 course. Holy freaking crap. Let's see. Just scrolling up, making sure I didn't miss anything. Diana Pace says, when we join you, is there mentorship? Yes, 100%. You can't get rid of me that fast, Diana. <laughs> I geeked out and watched 10 of your YouTube videos last night. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're also going to have to let me know your real name because I know I made jokes like a few days ago about the real Jane Doe. And I feel like you said your middle name's Jane, but I forgot your first name. So you're going to have to let me know. That's hilarious. You geeked out. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. Abby says, how beneficial is it to have an LLC set up? I, I got convinced to get one. So for me personally, I have an LLC. That's just me. I'm not licensed to talk about taxes and all that crap because it totally depends on you, how you claim, where you live, all that kind of stuff. So Abby, I'd recommend talking to your CPA about it to see what's best for you. Does that make sense? That says, can you make anything with a $20? Yes, you can. At the gold level for digital marketing with me, you can. But what I would think about is if you come in at the lowest and you expect the best, that won't happen. And the reason I say that is because it's the lottery mentality. Not saying you can't start at 20. Plenty of people start at 20. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You still get everything on the inside for free with me, my app, my funnels, all that kind of stuff for free. Um, but if you get a sale, let's say Billy Bob messages you vet and says, you know, hey, I'd like to get in. What do you recommend? And you tell Billy Bob titanium so that you can make $100. That's awesome. But as soon as Billy Bob finds out that you're gold, he's going to do gold. You feel me? You get what you are, not what you want. You attract what you are, not what you want. Now, if you have 21 bucks and you're like, hey, what makes sense for me is $20 for gold, then do that. Start, do something. Don't sit and research overwhelm. Do something now. That way you can 
move up if you wanted to. Now, disclaimer, no, you don't have to upgrade. Not even close. You could say gold forever, 100%. But if you want to scale it, then I'd recommend eventually doing something different. Does that make sense? Um, blah, 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 blah. Just scrolling through these comments here. Lissandra, you're so awesome. <laughs> Um, currently happy Monday is awesome. What I'm going to challenge you to do if you want to scale your sales with your clothing a reseller for clothing is go to free social media training.com and walk through my 30 tutorials there to master the four majors to sell more clothes. Okay. Let's see. Peyton says the benefits are way better at titanium, but you can upgrade your membership at any time. Amen, girl. Yeah. Is there a particular video to start with on YouTube? So there's not. Um, the one at the very top that's like 17 minutes is going to be the quickest for insight. But if you need further clarity from there, if you look right under, okay, it's the very top playlist. There's a live replay from the 30th, from the 21st, and from the 10th of May. That will be super informative for you as well if you need additional insight from there. Make sense? That says, I just need to start somewhere so I can upgrade later when I can. Yep, sounds good, my friend. Sounds good. Kristen, let me know if that makes sense because I can show you my YouTube channel if that's helpful, but it's really just the video at the top and then it's the playlist at the very top. And Kayla says, can you explain the differences verse of 20 verse 100 verse 200? So the two, the 20 at gold, no income bonuses, and you only have access to travel savings. That's it. Okay. Great place to start if that's what makes the most sense for you. Um, the majority of people don't, I'll be honest. Platinum at two at $100, you get instant access to $1,000 bonuses each month. And you have a lot more in the savings portal. So travel discounts, daily discounts, local discounts, things like, I don't know, Macy's, Walmart, Subway, a subscription like ABC Mouse, things like that. And you get the bonuses. So there's higher levels of income there. And then titanium, you literally get all of it. So over 850,000 vendors, you get a VIP consult to lower your current bills, things like your auto insurance, your home or renter's insurance, your uh, cell phone bill, cable bill, Sirius XM, things like that. Does that make sense? That's like the really, really skinny version of it. But if you find me on Facebook, I can send you a direct link about the differences in memberships that goes into a lot more detail than what I just said, if you want it. Uh, let's see. Daniel John says for the 20 gold, does it stop you from making as much money as you can? It does to a point if you want extra bonuses, but you still make the same 50% commission, 25% residual. So if you come in and you're a gold member and you go have Helga get in for, you know, titanium, you'd make a hundred dollars, although you just spent 20 on your business, but you don't get income bonuses. So the more you produce, you don't get extra bonuses from there. Does that make sense? but the commission is the same. And I still help you the same as far as the funnels, capture pages, email sequencing, the whole marketing system you get for free, all the good stuff. Make sense? Let me know. What's up, Jay? How do I get signed up for the VIP console? I haven't been able to find it. Send me a message. I'll send you the exact link. Let's see. Huge learning curve. I do very well, but definitely not easy. Yep. I also do print on demand. Awesome. Awesome. Abby says, what are you producing? Do you mean income? If you're still here, drop me a yes. And if you mean income, let me know. You're welcome, Abby. <laughs> Kayla says, getting off, I'll be messaging you. Thank you so much. Very interested. Awesome. So this week, Abby, let me just look it up. Hold on. Got to move my thing here. This week I have two, so I have two digital marketing accounts doing the savings membership, being an affiliate for it, generating myself 50% commissions, 25% residuals. And then I also am monetized on YouTube. So I make extra income from that as well. The YouTube monetization, by the way, is not the bulk of this, not even close. It's like 600 bucks this week. So let's see, two, two digital marketing accounts doing the savings membership as an affiliate. And then YouTube monetization being about 600 bucks. $9,917.09. That's what I've done for the week. Now, I don't say that to be impressive. I really don't. 
I say that to let you know that it's possible you can too. And if three years ago, I can go from a place of $120,000 of unsecured debt. And then in Sunday to what's today, Saturday time, a week time, $9,917 and nine cents. You can too. Okay. I hope like, I really, really hope you take me as evidence that you can do the same rather than being like, uh, well, I can't because, well, I won't because, well, I shouldn't because you're right. Do you want to be right? Or do you want to have results? Because think about it for a moment. Even if it took you five years to get to $9,917.09 made, let's say in a month, let's say every quarter, an extra, you know, $3,300 every, every month. Even if it took you five years to get there, would it not be worth it? Drop me a yes or no. Is that worth it? Because when you can do effective marketing strategies, when you can master the skill set and the discipline to choose your financial goals, you'll get there. But if you'd rather stay where you are, you'll be in the same spot a month, a week, a year from now. And then we'll connect again. And you'll be like, dang it, I should have started. Yes. You can start and you will start if you have the discipline to do what it takes. Does that make sense? Okay. Any other thoughts, questions? Let's see. Lysandra says, I know you say you have to work one to two hours a day, but realistically, how much, how much do I work? Do you mean how much do I work or you? <laughs> Let me know what you mean, Lysandra. Let me know what you mean. Not including something like TikTok Live, I spend two hours a day collectively. Collectively. Meaning I'm not like punching the clock from seven to nine, right? I work when I want. I sit and I let all of my notifications on something like Facebook pile up because I only do it at designated times. I'm a mom of three kids. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm on my phone. Shut up. Bleh. No, I'm very, very disciplined with when I work and it collectively is about two hours a day. Unless you're including TikTok live, then let's say three hours a day because I like going live. I don't consider it work. Does that make sense? Now, when you start out, just like you are, Lysandra, just like you are Peyton and a couple others, you might feel like you're spending two, three, maybe even four hours a day collectively. And that's because it's a new language. It's not because you're going to continue spending freaking three hours or four hours. Remember, it's about the consistency in spending the time, not the amount of time. Does that make sense? Think of it like going to the gym. I always relate it to health goals. Hopefully this resonates or vibes with you guys. If I'm a person who, let's say I want to lose 30 pounds, do I get better results going to the gym three hours today, nothing tomorrow, eat donuts on Monday, finally I go Tuesday because I'm not sore anymore and I only spend 45 minutes on Tuesday. Let's say I repeat that process for three months. Three hours one day, nothing the next, too sore the next, ooh, I want some donuts. Do I get the results health-wise more easily by doing it inconsistently or do I get results better losing that 30 pounds, gaining that muscle, whatever, if I go say 45 minutes to 90 minutes a day, every single day at the gym, right? If I'm constantly thinking, I want to release this weight, I want to attain health goals, I'm not going to eat donuts, right? <laughs> you get what I'm saying here? And I'm at the gym an hour a day, that means that when I'm not at the gym, my habits are more catered towards I want to be healthy, right? And it's the same thing with your financial goals. When you spend one to two hours a day on this business, even if it takes you over a month to get results, it took me three and a half weeks to make my first ever $20 online. And that's only 20 bucks. I was like, yes, I did it. Without help, without a course, without all the issues, blah, 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 stuff. That was literally my blood, sweat, and tears. I celebrated that $20 hard, you know, but I was consistent. So if I'm consistent, then I get consistent results. Does that make sense? Let me know. Um, yeah, I can't recall the name, something with the word highway. Yep. Savings Highway Global, SHG. Savings Highway Global. 
Cornelius DeCur, just barely saw your comment. Go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. Um, you can watch the video at the top. It's about 17 minutes long. If you need further clarity from there, you can go right under that playlist at the very top. Don't go to videos. There's like freaking 500 videos there. Don't binge my videos. Um, just go to the playlist at the very top. You can watch any of the replays from May. I had one on the 30th, the 21st, and the 10th. Those will be informative as well if you need additional clarity. Same with you, Ash Angela. Awesome. Ah, la, 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 la. Do you have to pay for a program? Allison, I don't sell a program. I do digital marketing. And yes, you do opt in because it's a real business with real products. It's $20 to $200. $20 to $200. The digital trainer just saw your comment. Angela, Angela, right? You still here? Just drop me a yes real fast. Just drop me a yes if you're still here. Angela says, oh crap, where'd it go? <laughs> where did I go? Oh, I'm in my 50s, not so easy for me, very foreign. Nothing to do with your age. Nothing to do with your age. I work with people from 18 to 78 right now. You're in good company. It's foreign for everyone when starting out something new. It's just a matter of, are you wanting to do something new so you can gain something different, especially when it comes to financial? Because when you put yourself in a position to learn a new skill set, regardless of your age, your income grows. It's when we do the same thing over and over again that we ex are experiencing the same results because we're doing the same thing, you know? Groundhog Day. Let's see. All right, Peyton, we'll see you soon. And I got your text, so I'll respond to that. <laughs> the answer is no, by the way. <laughs> uh, affiliate marketing with ClickBank. Ha <laughs> ha heck no. Heck no. ClickBank is awesome. In my opinion, if you have the funds to do Facebook ads. But if you don't have the funds to do Facebook ads, it's going to be one and done sales. And it's a lot of like building up an email list and hoping someone clicks your PS in the email or something. In my opinion. Let's see. Any other thoughts, questions, you guys? Now, this playlist that you're seeing or this video that you're seeing right now will be on my TikTok playlist.com later tonight or tomorrow, depending on when it downloads from YouTube, because it takes a long time. TikTok is weird and they take a long time to download, <laughs> but it'll be at my TikTok playlist.com. You can also go to um, free social media training.com if you want to scale what you already have. If you already have a business and want to see the products and the sales increase and all that, you can go to free social media training.com. Now to tatted hillbilly, like it, let me know your real name. Um, Let's see. Married to the best woman ever. That's all I know about you. But what is your real name? <laughs> I like I like the bio. Um, you can go to my YouTube channel. Go get fully informed on what I do and how it works. And if you like what you see, we'll see you in a couple minutes. RJ. Okay, awesome. RJ, congrats on being married to the best woman ever. I like your bio. Go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. See if digital marketing is a fit for you, okay? All right. Thank you guys for popping on tonight. We'll see you tomorrow, the 11th sometime. Eli, what's up, my friend? Eli got started yesterday. If you're a collaborator, you should quickly say congrats to Eli because he took initiative and got started yesterday. Awesome job. Awesome job. Okay, cool. Thank you guys for popping on tonight. Hope you have a beautiful Saturday evening and we'll see you tomorrow, the 11th sometime at some point. And congrats on taking action for anything that you're doing, whether that already is a side hustle. Cool. Let me help you for free. Free social media training.com. You can catch this replay at my TikTok playlist.com. And if you don't yet have a side hustle, but want something, you like anything that I've said tonight, go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is just my first last name, Kirstie Snyder. How you spell that is in my TikTok bio. Thank you guys for popping on. Bye now.